What's going on, everybody? Metalblade427 here, and I present to you Let's Play Mega Man Battle number 2 in the last episode. We beat Freeze Man! Yay! We got rid of all the ice on the net! Yay! We did some jobs for people! Yay! And in this episode, we are going to go to sleep and begin the events of Chapter 8. Go to bed, no saving, good night, Lan. Then, one week later... Oh, wow! <laughs> Proto Man just took out Cutman in one shot! Oh, and Quick Man! Hmm. Again. And he took him out in one shot as well. This is why Proto Man is awesome. Like, seriously. Just one hit wonder right there. And he's got two to deal with! Ugh! This is endless. Darn. What on earth is going on here? That is everything in Chaudhry's report. Chaud left to look into the incident by Natopia's request. That was three days ago. Hmm. Perhaps this is more complicated than we thought. Don't you find it a little odd? Dr. Hikari's son, Lan, destroyed Kotobuki Square? That's a major gospel base. How is it odd that we did that? And we didn't really destroy it, we just kind of beat up Freeze Man and got rid of the, the ice. That's about it. Yet net crime is at record levels. Dr. Hikari, is it possible we are overlooking something? Yes, perhaps we should reinspect Kotobuki Square. But our top net battler, Chaud, isn't back yet. Recent events have destroyed our net battler recent reserves. Should we get a city net battler to check out Kotobuki for us? Excellent idea! Why, Dr. Hikari's son is a city net battler! Yes, but I fear this will be far more dangerous. And Lan is still inexperienced. How are we inexperienced? We've saved the world! Technically, twice. <sighs> but, Dr. Hikari, you yourself said this is an emergency. We'll ask all the city net battlers to participate. True. Perhaps the other battlers would be up to it. Very well. Let us ask the city net battlers. Meanwhile, we should get back to our duties. Right! And apparently that one guy went to go hit on that girl as his duty. Another incident? I know. It's very troubling. Why? They just said that gospel had been destroyed. Yeah. Want to read your mail? Okay. Let's see. Attention all city net battlers. As we believe that gospel is continuing its operations, we request you to reinvestigate Kotobuki Square. What? We beat Freeze Man! So what was that then? Well, we'll just find out. Well, sorry. Well, we can't find out just sitting here around here. Yeah, let's go. Because I'm good at reading, apparently. Anywho, yes, so we have to go all the way back to Kotobuki Square, which in all honesty isn't really that big of a trip. So you're going to watch me do it. Using the wonderful thing that we call the Teleport Square, which I think that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure that's what I read it as. You come up over this way, and you hit the first teleporter to the left, and shabang! Here we are in Kotobuki already. This is the square entrance. You want to head up there on that conveyor belt down over this way and make our way down to that little section to the side. Everybody is back. There's a bunch of people around. Well, not really that many, just enough. But you can go into here into the shops and whatnot. Um, what's in here? Yeah, okay, I'm at 8. I'm looking to get that Zeus Hammer, which is 16. I'm about halfway there. I mean, the air shoes would be alright, but I don't really use the A uh, letter now anymore, even though Airman's pretty cool. Uh, these two are useless. Uh, it's really up to you what you want to do. I'm going to wait for the Zeus Hammer, because that's the rare one, and I believe you can get air shoes from uh, the chip traders. But Zeus Hammer, I'd rather just kind of get it from there if I'm going for all the other stuff. And I am actually going to buy this panel grab. I will explain why in a little bit. I need to kind of readjust my folder uh, shortly as well, but for right now, why don't we head to where we fought Freeze Man, which is down over this way. And in the gospel area, with all the spitting gospel G's in the back, we have some heel navvies that are here. Uh, there's a Mr. Prog up there. All these people are evil, I guess. <laughs> I guess you can call them evil. Uh, basically, if you talk to them, they're going to be like, What are you doing here? Ah, uh, I'm a bad guy, yada, yada, yada. A few guys walking around here. And we have a weird swirly thing, and a guy just jumped through it. Oh, what was? what's all this? This wasn't here last time, right? Oh, man. Gospel wasn't destroyed at all. No wonder the incidents weren't stopping. Mega Man! Yeah. What the? Oh, jeez! Mega Man just... <laughs> well, the, he attacked somebody that wasn't being very, you know, threatening to us. So, alright. Whatever. 
Uh, that's one. That's one. That that one's next. Oh boy. Think you can handle it? It's worth a try. And Mega Man starts blasting his way on the weird swirly thingy in the in the wall, and apparently it doesn't do anything. No good. Ah! And then the guy jumps for us. Man, there's no end to these things. Land. Let's go to Kotobuki Town. We may find something. Right. Say, uh, how do we get there? Um, maybe we should, uh, do what we always do? Right. Ask my dad. Well then, what are we waiting for? Right. Let's go. So if all else fails, we go ask dad. He knows everything and he's able to tell us everything. What do you have to say? Okay, whatever. Are you going to shoot him again, Mega Man? Are you going to murder him for no apparent reason? He wasn't really being threatening to us. Oh, well. Jacking on out, and away we go. I really don't like the, oh my gosh, everything is going bad music in the background, but that's how it's going to be for a while. Now then, let us head over to Marine Harbor and go tell our dad about what we found, and maybe he'll be able to help us get to... Um, Kotobuki, like the real world equivalent of Kotobuki. I know I said in the very beginning of this there wasn't really one, and in all retrospect there's only like one screen of Kotobuki, but you, you never run around the town. You just kind of, well, you'll see when I get there. Anywho, Dad, guess what? We checked out Kotobuki Square! Yay! Man, I was hoping you'd not be here. But why not? After we helped out and everything. Ugh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Lan. It's just, I hoped you wouldn't be involved this time. Why not? I've been safe up until now, more or less. Haven't I? Well, there was that one time, and that other, and a whole laundry list to follow in between. But we're alive and we're kicking, that's good. That's my boy. No, you've been, you've been doing great all along. Just, this time feels different somehow. I have a feeling. This will be the final and most difficult battle. What do you mean? Gospel has something up their s up its sleeves. I'm sure of it. Something up its... But what? If we knew, we could prepare for it. I need more time. Well, be that, as, be that as it may, you've both done a great job. I'm going to explain what we know about Kotobuku, Kotobuki Town. So, Lan, Mega Man, I want you both to listen carefully. Right! And we get a fade out. In our research, we found something very strange. Kotobuki Town is releasing electro electromagnetic radiation. We think the warping in Kotobuki Square is somehow related. And it all stinks of gospel. The town must be the real HQ. The gospel main base. How much radiation are we talking about here, Dr. Hikari? I don't know why Mega Man called him Dr. Hikari there. He could have just called him Dad, because it technically is, you know, the truth. I'd say about 10k times the usual radiation levels. That's 10. That's what the K means. Of course, radiation at those levels is dangerous to humans. I guess I'll be fine then, but what about Lan? With that kind of dosage, you'd be one sick kid for sure. In worst case scenario, you could even die. I'm pretty sure death would be the optimal answer to that question. But I have to go. Dad, isn't there anything you can do? Well, we thought of a few things to help you out. Two to be exact. First, you'll get to Kotobuki Town on the unopened Kotobuki Metro Line. We've made a special car that will absorb some radiation. How about once we get there? Right. We've also made a special shielded mag suit. The suit will shield you up to levels of up to 50k normal times. 50,000. And then we can hit gospel where it hurts the most. That's right. But still, I'd rather it wasn't you. But I want to. But I want to do it, Dad. But Lan, it's too dangerous. Then wouldn't it be harder for you to ask someone else? And even if I don't make it, at least you would know what it was I died for fighting. I died fighting for. And my brother, Mega Man, will be there to protect me. Lan, your mom's right. You've really grown. Okay, you win. Here's a Koto Pass and a Mag Suit. And we get the Koto Pass! And we get the Mag Suit! Well. I'm off. Land, be careful. And now we get back to the scary music again. After we just had a slightly heroic scene and, you know, our dad is putting the fate of the world into his 11-year-old son. And quite frankly, if I was a father, yeah, I would ask somebody else to do this instead of my kid. Really? I wouldn't feel bad. It's like, you go do this. My son's safe at home. That's all that matters. 
but that's just me. Anywho, what we need to do now is we need to head up and over this way. We don't need to do this, but this is something I've been talking about for quite a while, actually. And we get to finally finish it up. This lady right here is the one that will be asking for our big bomb star. That's right. She's the one that we will be getting the third folder from. So going through, she's asking for the big bomb star. We have it. I moved it already. So... Oh, maybe I did not move it already. I was making a mistake. Of course I made a mistake. Uh, there you are. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to put the panel grab star in there. Let's try that again. Yes, we have the big mom star. Here you go. Now give me your chip folder. Jennifer's chip folder. All right. So there it is. Let's open her up. Let's put her in code. And you can see there's some pretty decent letters in here. It is definitely an alphabet soup style folder. But I would have to say um, these aren't so bad if you're running a need folder. Uh, a few all right apps. The G's are a little pointless. You do have a Rattan 1 uh, program advance with H, I, and J. Uh, you have the three lines. So you have an ice line, lava line, and mag line. But the more important thing this are these two stars, specifically area grab stars. Area grabs are absolutely the most wonderful things to have in this game, especially when, I'm gonna put one and two into this, especially, you know, when having certain folders that rely on you needing to get close to your enemy. And the fact of the matter is that they are stars makes it even better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock out this Navi plus 20, and I'm going to knock out Gutsman. I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I'd rather have the stars in there than anything else. So let's throw the area grab, and I'm going to throw an attack plus 20. It was a navy plus 20 I took out, so now it's an attack plus 20 in there. So in all uh, retrospect, it wasn't really much difference in anything. Uh, we will be getting another area grab st uh, star shortly, probably in the next episode, in the next area, but otherwise, that we're doing pretty good. I, I mean, I knocked out a summons, alright, whatever, but at the same time, the area grab will make things a whole lot easier in order to hit things. Now then, how about we actually go to yeah, well, let's go to Kotobuki. Let's go check this place out that everyone keeps talking about. And we'll see what they got there, and we'll kind of, uh, you know, make a judgment for our own. All right, let's go down. All right. Now, if you try to go buy a ticket, you'll actually notice... Let me get there. That Kotobuki isn't exactly there. You can buy a ticket if you want to, but otherwise that, you can just kind of run... And Mega Man's gonna ask, will you use the Kodo Pass? So guess what? Yes, we will. Detected data from Helen, Ikari, en route to Kotobuki Town. So, they've come at last. But it's too late. I can fuss my bug chips to complete the Super Nav- I can fuse my bug chips to complete the Super Navi. Cause fuss doesn't really work there. Land and Mega Man are coming to their deaths! Ha 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 Ah! What's going on here? Wow. <laughs> oh wow, look at that building. All oh, crazy, swirly, bugginess. Kind of looks like a computer grid. Mega Man, what kind of radiation reading are you getting? More than your dad thought. Almost 30,000! 30, 30k times normal. I guess the mech suit can protect me. Lan, about the Gospel Headquarters. It's got to be that building. Well, because it's really the only big one in town. Yeah, and my bet's on the top floor. Of course, because it wouldn't be that easy. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's check it out. And check it out we shall. So here we are in Kotobuki. Like I said, it's only one screen. This is it. And there's really not much to do here other than going into the tower, which technically is the final dungeon. But before we do that, why don't we go over to this little vending machine here and go click on in. Of course, there's going to be stuff in here for us to collect. Um, I think there's only one blue mystery data here. Let's see if I can actually find... Oh, there you are. Regular power up three. All right, so our megabytes go up by three, which is nuts. All right, let's see. I think, is there one more? Um... Alright, um... No, okay. Let's head on out. Alright, there's actually a new enemy in this area, but I decided that I'm gonna come back and show that later. Because that guy's doing the moonwalk. Or at least some weird version of the moonwalk. But, uh, no, I decided not to look for it. There's another jack and spot right here that I'm gonna go into. 
And this one actually has two mystery datas. We have a purple mystery data down over here, which we will use one of our lockers for. And we get the Guardian O chip. Guardians are statues that you place on your side of the field, and if they are hit by an enemy attack at all, they will counterattack with, I think it's like 200, 250 damage. Like, it's a ridiculous amount of uh, power. But at least here I get to show you the new uh, enemy that we'd be coming across. A hey, Sparknoid, bottom right corner. 150 HP, does 120 damage, is Alec type, and will drop the Satellite 3 chip. Why don't we actually go forth and do what we gotta do? Try to avoid these um, mag panels, which obviously did not really work so well. Take a panel grab, start swinging, and obviously fail at the swinging. There we are. Ouch again. Um, this may not have been a good idea because there's no one in front of roll. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's go invisible. Sure, sure. Alright, okay. Alright, invis. Take a step back. Send out Gutsman. Kind of wanted to try to get an invisible three, honest, or not invisible, a satellite three, honestly, just to see what letter it is, but that's okay. No big deal. The other blue mystery data is up, not there, there. And inside this blue mystery data, we get a bug fire. Okay, that's really all we need to do. So now we are inside of the building. How about we attempt to go up the, the elevator? We have to hit the elevator switch to do such things. Darn, it's not working. It figures, with all this radiation. Come on, move! Nice land, punch it, kick it. That's not going to... Oh, look at that! Hey, look, it's working! Uh, land! That's great, but we got company! They might be from Gospel! Quick, let's hide! Yo, wait up! Yeah, r Wait... That voice? Hey! You're just gonna go leaving your best friend behind! What the heck is Dex doing here? How did he get here? Don't forget us either now! <laughs> How'd they all get here? Wow, you're all... What are you doing here? Hey, we're sending net battlers too! You dummy! What about the radiation? Dummy? Chod would never say that to a lady. What? Come on! I was just worried about you guys. You too. You see, I'll have to be the voice of reason here. We're all wearing special Netopian made magwear. See? I guess it's built into the clothes? Uh, my father knows the president of Netopia naturally, so... No way! Cool! So what's upstairs? Turns out this whole building is one gigantic server! Servers were growing all over the second floor. That's as far up as we were able to go. Servers growing? Uh, aren't servers machines? She's right. These were growing, weren't they? Anyway, we need to get rid of the net radiation. Then we'll be able to get up to the top floor. Man, we've done everything that we can, so... Ugh. Dex, what's wrong? Dex jacked in more than the rest of us, so the radiation... He said he had to do it, or he couldn't show his face. Ugh. Dex. And mail in the eye. Thank you. Now get somewhere safe. Leave the rest of this to me. Thanks, Lan. Mega Man, let's rock. Right. For Dex, mail and Yai. Let's find the way to the top. And if we can't find a way, we'll just have to make one. Darn right, Mega Man. And for that, we shall go and do that in the next episode. Where we will be climbing up the tower here. Going through its dungeon. And finally getting down to figuring out what uh, Gospel is going to do. And stop them once and for all. So... Rate, comment, subscribe as they ask you to do in almost every YouTube episode. I thank you guys for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Well, we are heading into the final home stretch of the game to get the main storyline done and defeat Gospel once and for all. Until next time, everybody. You guys have a good one, and I will catch you later.